Welcome. This be Football Made in Ghana. It be another lovely Wednesday. The show is live, interactive. We still get the Ghana man inside, so we the celebrate African Prince. How you go do up? Uh, <laughs> so as I promised last week, the guys <laughs> then then go learn about the culture. So today I go do quiz. <laughs> I go do quiz. Um, but on the show today we go look back on the President's Cup. Uh, we go look back on the Ghana Premier League match week 19 fixtures. Scott Toko go draw yesterday against Bechem United. Uh, Kim Faisal, uh, Diana shocked them with uh, some other games. Then we go look ahead to the game this afternoon between House of Oak and Wafa. The second part of the show, as I promised you last week, we go rewind the tape, throw back into some of the classic Ghana versus Nigeria games as we they build up to the uh, World Cup qualifier on March 25. Today, we will take you back to 2000. 2000. The year 2000. At the Africa Cup of Nations 2000. Ghana versus Nigeria quarterfinal. The ship we. Before that, back to back, 2001. In a qualifier for the 2002 World Cup. After we take us of four go play draw for here, we go Nigeria go collect three, bro. <laughs> uh, we go play back those matches for you, and then we go tell you what the background stories to some of those games were, uh, as far as that's concerned. So it will be very interesting. Go stoke your nostalgia a little bit, stroke it a little bit, and see where it will take you. Uh, so that be that be what uh, he did uh, the table talk today. The show will be live and interactive, of course. Um, so make sure if you get any opinion share with me here, the number is always there, your screen top. Uh, WhatsApp be plus 233 So I will share your opinions with the rest of the viewers. So um, make you feel free. You can feel use Twitter as well. Uh, if you leave me a message at Fento underscore or hashtag FMGH. We'll go take some short break. When we come back, we'll introduce my guests. Then we'll go start the conversation. Make you no go anywhere. Welcome back. This be Football Made in Ghana. All right. Uh, make I introduce my guests uh, first and foremost. The first one, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was here last week. I've been signing to tell you, no, no. <laughs> so uh, the exercise I give, I don't know if you do a. Uh, in fact, both of them didn't know. So, Charlie, how you go do it? So, today we go find out. First up, I can bring Felix Romack onto the show. Felix. Thank you to you. Everything cool. Everything fine. Everything now you fine. know your two them. I'm not steady finish, I beg. So, today. Hey, Raden I'm not for. steady finish. Because hey. I'm not the one come sit here and misquote some things, then make my village people. Come in front come, of the team. So make her make her mow everything. And I not <laughs> say if I <laughs> give the history. Don't to tell me if you want. Oh, I say I if know. If you just want. ask your grandma me, friend, what do you want to tell? Make her finish my research about my clan people. Okay. If I come here, if the show be one hour, I go take thirty <laughs> minutes discuss about them. <laughs> uh, make her see if this man go learn something. Uh, I should tell my club be my second guest. I should. Today, you see, you dress like rich man. Oh, I have a slippers, you know, care. Man, where your full name be Vat. Uh, Vat. Name... V8. Victor. Ah. Victor Achutamaklo. Charlie, you know, if I you never know the pet meal, it'd be Vat. If you, you know the pet meal. So the percentage Vat with the pay or the guy in share. That's why you go fit to go run, uh, you go run some girl. You know, see that. She says, she says, you see Vat. See that it's from my name, no. Victor. My no. father, my father. No, that no, be the only thing coming to mind. No, no, no. <laughs> see, they are not going to forget a lot. It be the Emirates, no. I can't say uh -huh. You see, they went on somebody. They won't tell them. See, then get, then get real power for Ghana here. Yes, yes. We uh -huh. say so I get the initials. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so I hope you guys are fine. Happy sorry, Independence sorry, Day sorry. or late Independence Day. Sorry. You must be very proud to be Ghana. Adelai. Oh, yes, of course. I'm, I'm yeah. very, very This last independence, what were you celebrating? Oh, so far, dear Charlie, the system makes hard. But, you know, independence, there is good. Yeah. So at least you get the freedom to do Man, a few things. Do. No, you see, that's why I thought say independence is good. <laughs> say you get the freedom to do some few things. But we they pray, say God will bless one of homeland Ghana. Then go make you all great. 
then strong. You know how long we have been singing that? We have been asking God to bless us. We will get there. Heaven knows when we will get For there. For 65 <laughs> years, we will get there. <laughs> Every day in school, God bless our hope. God knows the day. Oh, God is blessed us. Oh, uh, oh, oh we say he answered the, he answered the prayer. Chale, the, the system hard for you, but Chale, some places be worse. Of course. So we go, we go be hopeful, say things go get, you know, better. Bro, Chale. <laughs> oh, yeah. It go be, oh, nyam nyam do. Small, small. Oh, but far. But my daddy people will get some saying. Say, I'm from poor, but far. <laughs> That's by right. force. If, if you know go short service, you go short Chale. Chale. By Chale. force, it go be. Oh, you need. We don't get choice. At once by force. I know, I know, no, no. <laughs> you don't get choice. Ah, because if things not be, you go die. Ah, you die, die, die. You go die, die. 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 Yeah, so go anywhere. So Charlie, we just for time go see. Uh, because yesterday, or Master, you, you, you make a go do research. You know, go make a run my mouth small. Uh, hey, so what be your hey, today? No, I don't go search about total. What you search about? You ask of my family line. Ah, uh, so Charlie, you go. I go where I go find and search. Apparently, the time I close no levels day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. So you know, be so. At the base of it, every Tamaklu be royal. Okay. So you get four levels of Tamaklu. So, so the, Togbi, so Togbi the, the very <laughs> first public record of the achievements, I think, started in 1814. 1814? Yes. I see. Yes. So recently you, you heard that one of uh, Dr. Nyaro Tamaklu's nephews was instilled. Yeah. Kelly Tamaklu. You see, so I wasn't he, there. So the story, no, I just go believe him the way you go course. tell us. So oh, but this on. one, you go feel Google him. You go feel ah, Google you. Kelly Tamako. He's like, I want to answer, so you know, Tamako, which level of the Tamaklu's? No, he be, he, he, be, he be like pure bloodlines. Oh, yeah. So the, the very first... Where you be impure bloodlines? No, 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 no <laughs> like... blood. That's what I'm talking You get levels. So you have ah. the Nyaho Tamaklu's, then you have the rest of the Tamaklu's. Yeah. So he, Dr. Nyaho Tamaklu, I think in great ancestor, uh -huh. be the very first... Tamaklu. Nyaho Tamaklu. Ah. Yes, from Vuti. Me. The Volta region. And Felix Gono Vuti. Yeah. That area there. Where, where me, uh, me, me, Fentu, me, I'll be the very first Fentu, <laughs> pure black. <laughs> where the Fentu, no, the very first one, we start keep the records. 195 AD. Master, <laughs> you did yourself. You did it. 195 AD. You did. 195 Before Christ or after Christ? <laughs> that be after death. 195 AD. AD. Yes. Okay. He be eighteen fourteen. He just eighteen fourteen. You know, one night. Were you there? No, no. Were you there? No. Titi Botan. Take it. All right. Friends, you yeah. Titi Botan. <laughs> uh, we start uh, with the President's Cup. Something brief there. Right. House of Folk uh, versus Kotoko on Friday night. Uh, House of Folk won that game by two goals to zero. Moku, we'll take a look at the highlights first. And then after that, we just go, go over how that game was won. Salim Adams here, good play there from the young man. Gets a return of the ball, Salim here, two players. Dealt with, Fatal here, looking to advertise this one in here. Ball header down, opportunity, and that's it! Efriya Banya gets the goal there for Accra Hatha Folk! It was Salim. It all started by Salim here. Yeah. And he found space on the right hand side for Tom Mohamed. Advertise this one. A big junior failed to deal with it. Oh, what a strike there from this man. Abs. It's more last time giving the ball away. And Kumasi Asante could have got equalizer. I tell you what, just look at that, well it was poorly dealt with, it was uh, Robert Adosua who just missed that, and Boateng, well again he came off the body, he's on a ricochet the body of Mua Lassa. absolutely amazing, he simply is a beast when it comes to this 1v1 situation, oh, plot it, it is there for this man. And so there you go. The champions for 2022. Phobians, uh, they like, they say they like the podium. They've grown accustomed to of it. Of course, of course. The Premier League winners, FA Cup winners now. Um, on Crown Cup Super Cup champions. Please, on crown. we don't want any ah, arbitrary champions. Oh no, that'd be the truth. We, yeah, show me the trophy. Thanks. Ah. 
Fair. That would be the truth. If we win the FA Cup, the Premier League. Regula- competition's regulations. So where is the trophy? Uh, at the camp. The competition's regulations, they spell out who wins the Super Cup and under what circumstance. Yes. Have those conditions been met? By yes. Of folk? So, so what will your highlight again? So my highlight is where's the trophy? Case Go to the Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the President's Cup. Uh, yeah. Why was this one? Because I think after the game, everybody seems to be talking about the performance of one Salim yeah. in the middle of the park. And if you see the kind of players, especially kind of midfielders, Kotoko Parade, and to be dominated by a relatively unknown player like Salim, was that where the key of the game was? In some respects, yes. Um, if, if you look at the previous game between Hazard and Kotoko, mm-hmm. It looks like both coaches swap tactics. Mm. So we to go for four midfielders in the league match. But here, on Friday, you go for three. Where you sacrifice one of the midfielders for an extra attacker. Okay. Back to the setup where now they used last season, where you take win the trophies. No. Then this time, Prospanate go for four midfielders. Yep. In fact... The time when Nakotoko they chase the winner, no? and then get three holding midfielders on the pitch. Yeah. So you get Agadas, Justice Blay, then Sheriff, Sheriff Mohammed. Mohammed. Yes. Which didn't make a lot of sense to we or to the in- uninitiated mind or anybody who no get the opportunity to listen That's to Prosper. That's just too much grit. Yes. So unless Prosper himself explains to you why he did that, you wouldn't really understand. But now I feel say the mix of intensity and control in the middle be what. He killed Kotoko. Mm. And look, if over the two games, eh, if Kotoko had played as well as Hatsuvok had done, they would have won by a wider margin. And it'd be for the simple reason, see, then get a clinical finisher up front in Mbella. Because after he scored the first goal, then get some openings, not clear cut chances though, okay. but then get some openings where if Obin Jr. release the ball small, it'd be either 2v1 or you go feel leading to chance. Yeah. Then he mess up. Then the chance he angers he gets. He mess him up. So, I was always confident, say, if Hearts go back to the football way that they play last season, no, get, which they give them control of the middle, yeah. and then play with intensity and pace. Very few teams go feel if plus the front line. The only issue be what then they do after they increase those chances and dominate the game. Finish it. Yes. The whole season, that'd be the story. That'd be the story. But, yeah. but here, we see what then go feel do. So you, you get the control Montari they give you, uh-huh. the calmness and the presence of mind. See, even if Kotoko plays, they swam them. And if you watch the game, every time, they tell Salim, calm down and play, the, yeah. play your game. Yeah. And this, it'd be very important because Salim, every time he gets one or two good games, and he'd be player where he'd be very expressive. He'd, he'd be more intuitive yeah. than... He'd go figure into his head. Yes. Every time he get that form and he make a mistake, people go scream at him, then he's try to, he tries to keep it simple. But he's not that kind of player. You can't shackle him. What, he, what he's got is a gift that comes to him naturally. Yeah. And the spell of the moment, even if there are three or four players, he wants to hold on to the ball, turn around, and find that extra space before he releases the ball. That's him. Even if he sees the teammate into space, he would want to see a bigger space before. before yeah. Everybody, so, like, to be honest, everybody who <laughs> watched the game really enjoyed that boy. Exactly. No, and, but, and, but think, this was important yeah. for him that you could just allow him to play his game. Because yeah. he was coming off the back of the previous quarter court fixture where... He was all over the place. Yes, because he was not releasing the ball on time. But having a senior member in, the, in that midfield telling that, hey, really even if there are four of them, just do your bit. But thanks. you see, I, I agree with what Achu talk about Salim, but the key man in midfield for me was Nuruddin. I Aziz. agree too. I think, say, Nuruddin, is this the United fans, they talk to so somebody for unlock Poba. Nuruddin just unlock Salim. Absolutely. Because he do all the dirty job, then aggressive job way like Salim yeah. go they do. Normally when they play he's Salim, like, he's they to combine the two roles. Yes. You see, so but this time around, Salim uh, Nuruddin tell him, say, you know what, just leave the number six or the pivot area for me. Yeah. I'll go do all the dirty job for there. And he was very, very key. Very key. And you see, then I, did, I had doubts because of the injury where he gets. Yeah. Hardly you go see say player get some kind of injury Long where he go come injury. back. Then Charlie, all the of a sudden, they feel cope with the intensity of, of the yes, game. Yes. That'd be the team. And, I, and you see, not just Salim himself, I think he even allow Muntari. 
doing things. Mm -hmm. Muntari can give you that aggressive kind of football you used to because age catch up, catch up with them. Now you go to use their brain. So if you get ball quickly, you just go release them. But I feel say the formation boy do go no was solid. Then okay. I think one of the moments to where win cut uh, has the game be say. At the 88 minute, I don't know what the Kotoko team and the technical team yeah, was that thinking. Moment was a How they push all the 10 outfield players into the house of folk. Two you minutes know, to the end. Two, wait, they gave you the penalty. Behind. You are not behind. So, you know, we hold an away where you say they chase. But some let's away this way. That is not giving the opposition respect. Yes. And, and you see, perhaps it, it also tells you where Bodo is at now. Before Kotoko here, you see the decisions he was about to make? Yeah. yeah. He was about to bring on Kaleba Mankwa and Glatina Wako. Once that goal went in, he called Patrick Razak and decided to make a triple substitution at a goal. So he sustained that idea of the goal ensuring attack. that whatever happens, they don't concede yeah. mm -hmm. with Kaleba Mankwa because then he would have yeah. two stoppers in front of that back line. Pace up front and a bit of invention and craft in Glatzenau. So in other words, he anticipated that Kotoko will attack. throw everything. Everything so will be a counter. Yes. So he need quick wings. E exactly. Quick players. So that is good thinking. Yeah, and, and you see, at the time he decided to bring on Patrick Razak, most of we felt now he's reacting to what the goal Kotoko had scored. Yeah. And in a negative way. Right. But ultimately, the way the, the game developed and the role that Amankwa and then what's his name, Patrick Razak played convinces us that, you know what, that was a well thought through substitution. Uh, absolutely. But first, right, I, bet, I get one thing talk. Uh, I get we'll one thing. move on to Adam No, I, I get one thing talk. Okay. The medal, medal, Ghana football medal. <laughs> first, how the fuck no win trophy hey. for like 11 years? Danny Kese, Check the trophy, the hey. medal saw them give them. The league medal, it be bomb. Oh. The FA Cup medal, it be bomb. The President Cup medal, it be bomb. The president See, can't be the buy for Palace Mall. Chale, it, you know what the bomb itself? The, I don't know if it be uh, the backup, pen drive. It's called a buckle. Pen drive, buckle, or whatever. Then yeah, back. Chale, they take. They will tell you for a lead to collect this. They started. Somebody back. will carry Champions League medal. Uh, uh, Italian Serie A medal. <laughs> Copa Italia medal. English FA Cup. English FA Cup medal. Then you go give them this key order then. Chale, oh, Chale. we are joking. The matter there, you fire, you know that. <laughs> uh, yesterday then... Um, so after this match, Kotoko play again the Premier League because uh, after the weekend game, um, uh, the, Ma, the Ma Premier League game, uh, they moved the match to Tuesday here. So yesterday, the match ended in a nil-nil draw. But it wasn't short of events. It was, I don't know how, to, an eventful nil-nil draw <laughs> uh, in this game. Yeah. Um, of course, one of the highlights be uh, the lad in performance, but most of the issues be disciplinary issues involving <laughs> some of them before. Then the penalty incident, the incident is really bad. Here, I think this is the first one, I believe. Okay, this what is foul. this penalty? Foul. No penalty, it was a foul. Yeah, it was a foul because Agadas made no attempt to get the ball, of course. He just pushed his marker and look. You may call it soft, but it was a deliberate push on him. Charlie, he knew exactly what he was. The Infega incident, another penalty. Look, people they talk say be soft, but watch. Actually, there's a like soft penalty. Yes, and you see, this one. the yes. defender penalty. had gone down. The defender go down. He had and no he... chance of getting the ball. The defender had no chance of get of stopping Infega, and then he had to clip him. So for me, look, there were the referee did well. If you look at the other aspects of the game and how he managed the game generally, but you cannot assess that game without taking into consideration those two key moments in both boxes. Wow. At the very least, yeah, he, ha he needed to get one of those right. And that took a lot from yesterday's game. It was a, a good game, regardless, but you cannot officiate some of these games and get these decisions wrong. Yeah. And not on a regular basis. Um, Felix, I don't know what you want to highlight in this game, but the last performance is solid. I think that, I think, say... It's amplified you know, uh, calls for him Fent, to be... The, the, if... If you finish the season eh, where you win the league, there are some games you go pinpoint that they won you the trophy. That's true. And Kotoko go point to it this particular change, yeah. game because the last time they won here was 2016. They've never won here. And Beijing too have been solid at home. Look at that. And you look at the, the saves where Danlad... You know, these were not lucky saves. So. No, no, no. These no. were superb, excellent saves. If striker go score, go give you, make you get three points. This Danlad save is more like three points for Kotoko. Absolutely. It was a very, you know, good game as well. And one thing to admire, we, we always complain about pitches in Ghana. But I think that Bichim really forced to get the pitch 
Yeah, to this particular, in good yes, it, it was better than other league centers, and I think it would be good. Another okay. incident with that tackle. Fact, on, there were two incidents. Well, I think say, the one way, you know, it, it blew up their with the, this, this one. one. Yes, and I think that was very, very silly. In fact, from, the FA have charged him. That was very and quick. And United themselves say, I've apologized. Then they take, yes, they apologize to cut the court away and say that they take disciplinary action against him. This is so needless, so needless, unnecessary. Needless. But you see, I don't, I don't really want to go into the intention, but he's been one of the finest defenders we've had in yes, the Yes, if I understand And in name self, there's some, some, some words that could fall name self. <laughs> Be name way if you be defender. He was man of the match. Yeah. Yes, you understand. But people have the question say if you look at all this thing that you do for the game instead of for not give him man of the match. But you see, I didn't like the fact that as we complain on social media, the FA then take quick our, decision. Our reactive FA. Thank you. <laughs> I they all say eh, other incidents will be as reactive and quick yeah. as this. As we there, we they wait, we they wait for that. Ash go in Talis. Ash up. Before you repeat them. Up to now. Before you remind them. You see, up to now. We go remind them. Up every to day, now. Every time you, you get a chance to remind and them. You see, and, and, and last week as we did the show top, people, they talk talk. We hear noise about games being fixed. Truth be told, the second round there, plenty. Of course. Teams people go they try. do business. Yes. And they have for the So that would be the team. bottom line. There was another incident. I don't know if we get them. Some Kotoko player plucked <laughs> into <laughs> <laughs> in reaction, in fact, it, it, it also be another red card incident. And some people were defending the incident, saying that uh, he was reacting to the decision that wasn't given. The fact mm -hmm. say they no give you some decision, no they give you yeah, license. Our second force was also reacting to Mbele's challenge. You have. But you see, that's the problem I have with the GFA. Then be too reactive. Yeah. Yes, just... Yesterday, me, I go feedback that if we all had not reacted in the manner we did, but this would have been punished. Yeah. Possible. This would have gone unpunished. This season, we've seen so many people flout rules. See yeah. some in commentary after Hearts lose to Mediama. Yeah. Not See the head. things he said not about head. about about the referee. They didn't do anything about it. It's not allowed. Look, we, the effort cannot go to sleep. Or the the DC. Being, there should be the match on the final and the DC. Let me tell you, even the most recent one was Kim Faisal Ejana. Yes. The way they treated Daniel Lai, yeah. they should be charged. Yeah. You understand? You, you the cannot, for their fans. See, you, you in, cannot in, go to sleep in some not, instances and then when people say, hey, that you wake In up. every decision right. the effort they take, we won't see consistency. That's, That's the all That's we, all. De, we de plead with. But I can show you the full results from uh, match week 19 of the Ghana Premier League. So there you go. Um, 11 Wonders and Brickham Chelsea 1 1. Lions and Great Olympics 0 0. Gold Stars beat Mediama 1 0 in that Western uh, derby. Uh, Dreams FC 2 0 winners over Elmina Sharks. Very good game for them. Karela, 2 1 winners over Ash Gold. So Ash Gold back to back defeats now. Uh, Kim Faisal <laughs> lost at home to Indiana Stars. Daniel Lai, the referee, was almost beating up in the process. But Charlie, the goal was a goal. It was a goal. I, I don't even yeah, know what the issue is. The Brighton James goal was a goal. Up to you. It was a good goal. Up to you, draw. <laughs> then draw against the Guan Cities. The next day, the fans stormed the training <laughs> ground where they seized it. They seized it. They, they seize the balls, they're made, they're cold, they made the cone. They say they don't know why they, they train for that because the ball that they play, you know, they say that they train. So power, the power. power. Hey, I, power. You know, I listen to the RTW. So give me that table, hold on. Um, Kotoko <laughs> still top, of course, 41 points. They've played 19 games. Um, they have eight points more than a journal stars uh, in second position. Great Olympics from Bechem United completing the top four. Uh, Hearts of Folk have played one game less. Uh, they have 26 points. Uh, then we'll go play against Wafa a little later today. Wafa themselves not doing well. Bottom three is where they are at the moment, alongside 11 Wonders and Elmina Shah. So things not looking good. Uh, here's what's to come. Match week 20 uh, this weekend. Ash, Ash Gold at home to Kim Faisal. It's an Ashanti Regional Derby. Kotoko against BBN Gold Stars. Lions, they take on Dreams. Um, a journey against Hearts of Folk. <laughs> uh, this match. Elmina Shas against Mitchell United. Great Olympics, Legon Cities. Mediama Wonders. Wafa RTU. Two struggling teams. Uh, interesting to see what the result will be in that particular game. If I were to watch any game this weekend, that's the match I'm interested in. And then Brecum Chelsea against Karela crazy. United. So this be what the fixtures are. As I indicated, today, one match day, Hearts of Folk against Wafa, 3 p.m. at Sports Stadium. 
Um, so right after here, some of us they go there anyway. Uh, it but looks like this will be the take, weekend. The league will be won. Yeah, this weekend. Eh? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, we we'll go take some short break. When we come back, eh? Proper throwback. Proper throwback. We'll make you no go anywhere. Welcome come back. This will be football made in Ghana. Uh, we're on the home stretch of the show. So as I promised you guys, from now till the Nigeria game, every Wednesday. We could take a look back at some of the classic meetings between Ghana and Nigeria. Today, we want to focus on uh, two matches, in fact, uh, between 2001 and 2002. At that period, within one year, they met three times. Twice in uh, World Cup 2002 qualifiers and one at the AFCON in 2002 in Mali. Mm -hmm. So, um, we could do it in... Uh, before I even bring in, uh, before I even bring you the 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 the, the games, make I just base there, guys. Do you have any memories of any of those games? The two games in the World Cup qualifiers and the one game at Afcon. Who scored the goal in the Afcon game? The Afcon game, then <coughs> then it be uh, Isaac Boache. No, 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 not that the, one. You mean, the, mean the Nigeria, Nigeria one. one? The Nigeria the one. Maybe... Nigeria versus Ghana. Oh, no, not... okay, okay. Nigeria versus Ghana. That was in the quarterfinals, yes, right? Yes, quarterfinal. Okay. Um, quiz, quiz, quiz. At the come. Quiz. At the come, at the you come. Don't go, you don't go, no. <laughs> no, at the time, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be some last minute goal. Be. It wasn't last minute like that, but it'd be second half. We play, we play, we defend, we defend. Ah, we... So long range, be. Lawa. Lawa. Yeah, <laughs> Daba Lawa. Was it Daba Lawa? Uh, what about... But for me, it'd be the two qualifiers. The Derry the Kai, yes. the Hatsa Folk one, yes. and then the three names. Yes, It's the storylines before that. Yes. Because there is a meeting point of economy, <laughs> politics, <laughs> oil Hold and gas, horses. football. Hold your horses. That's where we're going to start. Uh, Everything they inside. I'll go reserve the AFCON one for now, but let's mm -hmm. talk about the qualifiers. Yeah. So, this is the background, okay? Um, heading into this game against Nigeria, the Blasters... They had no chance of qualifying for the World Cup. But Liberia had a chance of qualifying. So, In fact, Liberia... But make, we start go from the, make we start from the first. Go game. on. So, before Ghana played Nigeria, right? Mm -hmm. Siki Akuno had granted an interview. With, was it? it as, as captain. As yes. Captain. As captain. So, then you mentioned <laughs> yes. for being specific. So, to the Daily Graphic, I believe, and he opened the lid on the conditions of service from the AFCON. Yes. From the previous Afcon in, and how the players in 2000, yes, how the, the players, how co the states and the ministry know they support the players, the GFA be powerless. It go as far as going into specific. So the major issues then be players than air tickets, and the, and, and you know back then you go pay for your air tickets, yeah, you fly come, come play, fly go back, then at a later date the pay. state go refund. That's right, give you. That's why Abedi used to come in a private jet. Yes, but for a long time now. Charlie, the money's no, they come. Mm -hmm. You go fly, come, go back. The money's no. So, it be like, see, Kebo, where you go, grants that interview. So, Ghanaians to boss say, you know, Ghana, if something come up, the journalists go talk. People then go take sides. Either they decide with the players against the FA and ministry and government, yeah. or they decide with the government, say the players will be patient. Long story short, see, uh, I took a few. Who also became a victim to that because then people started questioning him. At that time, Ibi, his stocks really rise. He just mm -hmm. win the, the Champions Cup. League, the League, mm -hmm. the FA Cup and with Hearts plus yeah. the Super Cup. Yeah. Three so people didn't respect him. But that interview, then the other incident that go on, they create the impression say he lose control of the foreign based yeah, players. Mm. So he decides say he go go with all domestic team. This is the, the first time, leg you to talk yes, about. This yes. is the zero zero, and at the time. The Hearts players win at the day four. So he carry all Hearts of Folk 11, where he go play, he gets 0-0. Zero, zero. Mm -hmm. But you know Ghanaians, everything will go talk. After that game, the narrative then be say, there were a few players or a few positions where if we carry some other players, even if we had decided to go all domestic, if we are taking some players from other clubs to complement the Hearts of Folk yeah. players. In fact, the 0-0, zero, zero, there was Godwin a bloody. Yes. Yeah. The only quarter player, player who was drafted. Yes. Yes. So it, the consensus back then was that if they had introduced more quality players from other teams, mm -hmm. maybe they would have had enough to make, get the job done over Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So that will feature in the reverse fixture. Mm -hmm. But before then, now issues day. Now, 
We go focus on the group first. Yes. The, fo the football itself. Very important. First. The dynamics will yes. make the story make sense. The football itself first. So it be Ghana, Sudan, Liberia, Nigeria. Yeah. That's right. Before the last three games, Ghana no get chance of qualifying at all. Right? Ghana no get chance of qualifying. It be between Nigeria and Liberia. Yes. If Liberia win both games, it's specific. George Weas Liberia. <laughs> George Weas Liberia. And, uh, and Ajeje Okocha's Nigeria. Nigeria. If Liberia win both games, they go through. But for Nigeria, then go here, make somebody beat Liberia. Yes. Before then, then go through progress. But guess what? Both teams played Ghana in one of their last two games. Mm -hmm. But the selections, no. You get already the politics of players with they no one can play because you they owe them, you know one pay, give them. Mm -hmm. Where the coach will make him man and say, no, we'll call them cry. Where you get some players where in the previous games where they play, they're no fire. So one of them be Otuado, then Steven Bedu. Mm -hmm. Now in the game against Liberia, where we lose 3-1 for Accra, Steven Bedu will be on a right back. Yes. But that game, if Otuado go catch the top there, you know they track back. Yep. So we share for the right side there. Where I remember. Then boo one for the pitch top. And that was the end of Steven Bedu in Blaster's career. He no play for Ghana again. Yeah. In fact, for Otuado, he left the national team for six years yeah. before he returned. Before he came back so for he Germany. He came back for the 2006 World Cup. That's true. So this thing means, uh, as for Otuado, after sharing against Liberia, you know, we'll get selected for any of those games. Stephen Bedu, the same. The same. Now, it takes you back to but the other... Party, you know what they bought, pay me for the Liberia game? It'd be like, we go carry them, come. <laughs> you go carry them yeah. come for play inside yeah. come <laughs> feed them for a car for hotel <laughs> the the in time, where oh, that, time, that time to be fair now, then George Ria they do everything for them now consider that and the background of a nation in economic turmoil yes petroleum prices be very high at that time yeah. now one of the countries before had just come into power yes, one of the countries where now they do business plus us on the petroleum level be Nigeria yeah. yes for a long time they were not supplying Ghana with petroleum products mm -hmm. So you needed... In fact, you read the same article I read, so go on. So you needed... No, this wasn't an article. <laughs> oh, I get article. Okay, so you needed now the government to find a deal with the Nigerian government. True. So say they will resume supply of petroleum at a reasonable fee. Yeah. And then later, where plus a, a regular or... A workable payments plan. So you because then the match. No, no, because then. <laughs> oh, relax. Because then it wasn't only a matter of getting someone to supply. There was a small matter of being able to pay. Yes. Afford that. Yes. So there was the deal, and then there was a payments plan as well. Mm -hmm. So we, that needed to be done. But before the Ghana Nigeria game, not already before the economic gurus go sort that thing finished. Mm. But it left the point of actually putting that process into action. Mm -hmm. So, so you go see, say, okay, now the oil they come, four prices start to reduce. People actually get full weight, then they buy. Now, as Ghana, they go play that game. We take a, mostly local boys. We will take go Liberia. We will go shape them. Hmm? So as we beat Liberia, Liberia, then my mind will be say, if we do this, now that some of one are key boys, they return. We will to We're go capable of beating Nigeria. Nigeria. That's true. In Accra. Right? But... What, what happened? By the 21st minute, Ghana conceded two. Yeah. Fair comic goals. By 31st <laughs> you know? uh, the... minute, it'd be 3 0. And two things that sort of fueled the, the rumors about corruption. How do you concede this? Look at the goalkeeper. <laughs> that no, fueled, no make attempt here. Ah, sure. You know, the two things that fueled the rumors about corruption and all of that, one of them happened on the pitch. You know, Osep Watson was the keeper. Yes. See, yeah. Osep Watson was Cost set. Yes, Osep Watson could not complete the game. See, yeah. he was he sent walk. off. The word they entered the net, yes. he walk. Osep Watson was sent off, and then Emmanuel Osekufo had to go into the post. Yeah, even yeah, more cost set. Eh? For some reason, Ghana no introduce a second keeper. So Osekufo keep the post until full time. But somehow, Nigeria also no score again in the second. So after the 31st minute, they do the job, finish 3 0. Now, as the game finished, no, where Nigeria, in fact, this one will be Ben Kofi. Go on live radio. Yes. Ben Kofi will create the whole oh, problem. Ben Kofi go on live matter. radio. Go on. You go on live radio where you go talk, say, all of the rumors about, say, them bribe we, 
and we because Four of fuel, it will be real. true. But they don't bribe we. But after the game, no. <laughs> As you know, as Africans, when a tradition, they demand that if you visit someone, visit someone, if for visit plus gifts, uh -huh. so then gift we twenty thousand US dollars. Lego, the governor of Lego hosted them to a lavish dinner. After Where that, they give, give them the money. money. So it be that way. It make the librarians bow. You bab. It make them bow. See that now it's like now you are you are actually trying to anger us. It just won't make you bow. Because uh, yes, eh. previously we don't get anything stand on talk say oh indeed no, so you, went on. you can't talk say oh they admit something give you something where you take after the yeah. but all of, all of these things sort of were important in Ghana's qualification to the first World Cup because then the states can realize say the practice of always going into the the consolidated fund to take care of some of these expenses you know be sustainable mm -hmm. that'd be why. The aggression with which that be why we see the aggression with which they chase sponsorship yeah. to fund the 2006 yeah. World Cup qualifiers. Hands go first. Yes. So then you no longer have the situation where you need to get players to be complaining about oh then fly come then get five trips away if I pay for them at airfare with the no sure. pay then the bonus issues also day plus if you add the Mali 2002 the Jesse issues Sami Kufo go raise. <laughs> Where you see that, come. Yes, the, and you see this, these things be significant because before the tournament itself, no, there was a friendly, and Stephen Apia told me this in an interview I had with him. There was a friendly that he appear had to go buy Nike apparel because at the time he be Nike athlete. If I go, even though the Black Stars they wear Adidas, no, mm -hmm. when our apparel no come early, this be preparation for, for the friendly, manage, yeah. for the tournament mm -hmm. too. So a friendly match, I think it'd be Iceland in preparation for the tournament itself. Captain for using money go buy apparel, make the team. And this be Nike when we were kids by Adidas. In fact, at the time, mm -hmm. to be fair, at the time, we weren't sponsored by Adidas. Yeah. No, no, we were at just all. buying, buying okay. yeah, so we were buying, buying the products yeah, yes. from them. So yes. there was no contractual violation, but it just looked silly. But yes. you see, so Fence. all of these things from the politics. And the, mis the fact that we could not really handle some of those issues yeah. was, as I said, what helped us in. Because then, by the time we started the 2006 World Cup qualifiers, we knew what to address. We knew why the foreign players had, had become problematic. Mm -hmm. We knew which figures we could take into the future. And it was probably a, a good thing that we did not get sentimental with Sami Force issues. That we looked at the merits of whatever he had identified to be the problem in those games before then, yeah. um, before the tournament itself. In fact, investigations were launched into the aftermath of the 2002, the 2002 World Cup qualifying match. The, the $20,000 yeah. incident. Nobody, like, like it's the case with most investigations. <laughs> we all <laughs> didn't see the end of it. But let me try and show you what the starting lineup looked like and see if any of the players there um, really they ring a bell. Uh, for that particular game, who played in that particular match? Let's see if we have a starting lineup of that particular uh, match. So here, this was the qualifying game <laughs> for Nigeria. Uh, so this, this was that week. Uh, hey, Joseph, you were well stopped. But Chale? look at that. Look, look at that. Look, that. Sunday well Olise, um, JJ Okocha, Mwanko Kanu, Tijani Babangida, Taribo West. Yeah. The, the Western great was at Inter. Yes, the, the great Finney did, George. George yes. George was in there. Yeah. And Victor Agali. Agali scored the first yeah. goal for them. They got a brace, right? Who? They got two Victor goals. Right? No, he scored one. One. No, one. First goal. Um, it was Babangida who scored two. Okay. Um, for Ghana, <laughs> Mr. James Nano. <laughs> Isaac Ousu. Mohamed Gago. Uh, Mohamed Gago. Roberto Usu Ansa. Roberto Usu Ansa. Kofi Amo Kofi Amo Kofi the Ash Gold one. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yausu. Yausu. Godwin Abloddy. Hamza, Hamza Mohamed. Emmanuel Kufuo. Chastela. And Isaac, Isaac Bwache. Bwache. Uh, sorry, Isaac Bwache. Bwache Madi. Isaac Bwache. Striker, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> so this be... Chale, this plaster has to be... They look, look lightweight. Chale. They look lightweight. No wonder they took three. 
Yeah. No, no disrespect look, to them. No, it doesn't. I mean, in, in look terms of strength, no, no, don't look at that. No, compare 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 that to no, look. Before, if you go back to the previous game, the 0 0. Yes. In fact, that was um, similar. All local contingents. And they still Nigeria got a came draw. With a, yes, Nigeria came with us. So, but this was away from home. So, I you know. know, the temperament is different. Like, anyway. so, uh, hey, you know, and the Nigerian crowd was like, they were in full voice. You know, so anyway, this is the bottom line. Uh, Gagwe and Co. Uh, Hamza Mohammed, he played a few uh, Blasters games, and this was in 2001. Yeah, uh, this, uh, in fact, this was two years after he went to miss that crucial penalty <laughs> in 1999. <laughs> so, after a while, he, he played some few games for the Blasters before uh, uh, he finally uh, went into out of the radar. Now, Mokugo. So after those two matches, the nil nil for Accra, the three nil, Nigeria qualified for the World Cup, of course, in Korea, Japan. We, well, we, we <laughs> had to go and redeem ourselves at the AFCON, uh, and we went to AFCON 2002. AFCON 2002 was hosted in Mali, all right? <laughs> we qualified out of the group. We played Burkina Faso, Morocco, and then uh, here. We come quarter final, long range, outside the box. Samir G, nothing he could do about it. Garbalawal again. Yeah. Um, Garbalawal, boom, go. Ayaka. Yet again, JJ Okocha, all of them. We'll go show you the starting lineup for this uh, particular scene. You want to count with it. Uh, we'll go see, show you the, this, the lineup for this particular game. And then we'll go try to show you how much the team has changed. In fact, I'll go pull out. out um, uh, on my on my tablet, how much the team changed between the two matches? But this particular game, we lost all right. Yeah. But not many Ghanaians were disappointed. Well, not at all because if you if you look at the players we carry go, the youngsters. Yes, so we for understand. And then in this particular game, that be when the Sami Kufo had been sacked. Yes, from, they been sacked a long time. You know, if you start as well. So, so this game said that. So, huh, so, you know, at that particular point, now they expect to oh, maybe it really go even affect them yeah. for the group stage. Because the issues Sami Kufour raised, you know, they were, they were good issues. Because see, Genuine, see at, the yes. point, at the point, then now the team won't go go watch one of the games for the stadium. Mm -hmm. And then the Madrid has kids not come. Exactly. So then take Fugu, Fugu where the players will go Bamako, <laughs> Malio. Where Kufour say no. If you go tournament, yeah, at least if they're on some track suit inside, then things. <laughs> Where then time to Kufo to then? You know, initially, they know they won't come to the tournament. Where President Kufo intervene, call him. Where he come? Where then to Charlie? Adidas, then buy and then Kufo there. Then they be tight. Where mm. so then Charlie make you order the Adidas some come give the players, make them wear. No, they say your man they do to no then things. Already they complain, say they will tell them take give them. No. Then they come back for outside. Like you carry your pill, then sponge, you go back for outside, <laughs> then you go come, then we tell inside. But the Mali them day, Mali, you what did they expect some no, but Charlie, for but them? If you look at no, but if this be somebody where they the standard for Bayern be big. At least yeah. get the team a decent accommodation. Then they say, Oh, Kufo go nice club. You say the hotel self, it be like chamber and all. No nice club self they around. So it did that way, Charlie. In fact, then call and wait then say, Oh. He said before they call and say they passport then one hundred and I think thousand two hundred dollars did the table top. Where coffee? Where could you not tell and say oh I beg your passport and your allowance? Team manager. Team manager. Yeah. You do things. Charlie. Where carry tell and say Charlie. Kufo. These things uh, they happen. But friends, at me for 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 that tournament. Then earlier, now they talk about Isaac Boachi. Yeah. That game against Burkina. Oh, yeah. bro. Charlie. Then we they score in, then score in the 80th minute. Yeah. Your man scored two goals in, in about three minutes. That'd be Danny Kane, first memory of football. Charlie. It's the <laughs> first time I watched TV. Charlie, see. then I was so happy. happy. It, it was with Ash Gold, right? No. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. So then, I made Hoppy say, Charlie, he, he had a very good tournament. I quite remember a few. I think that Ishmaelado also go, Michael, listen to... In fact, well, that well. was the beginning of the whole Ben Kofi five-year development plan because that tournament had a lot of 19-year-olds yes, and yes. a lot of players from the 2001 um, Argentina 19, and the 19, 20 19, World yes, Cup. Yes. The guys that go lose to the then Savula. Then. Was there so, cool. in fact, so the starting lineup for the team where they lose to Nigeria in this yeah. quarter-final game, Samir J was in goal, obviously one of the most experienced players then. Um, that way, he got a nickname. Yes. Bamako Ejie. Uh, uh, General 
was in there. Yeah. In fact, Jana was made captain after the yeah. sack yeah. uh, Sami Kufo. Yeah. Uh, John Mensa. At the time, John Mensa was only uh, 20 years old. Wow. Amangwa Mreku was That's one there. of the more experienced players. John Penzo was another 20 year old. Princeton Owusu Hansa. Um, Derek Watson was years. another 20 year yeah. old. All from that under 20, 20 team. Yeah. Um, Ibrahim Abdul Razak. Yeah. That's a man boy. Yeah. He was also part of that under 20 team. He was the raster yeah. in the midfield. Um, they had Isaac Boache, of course, from the Ghana Premier League. And, uh, um, and a few others. In fact, in this tournament, they also had Ishmael Ado, who was yeah. also 19, 19 years, years old at the time. Uh, so, like, this was... That would be why I talk say plenty of people were not very disappointed. And so, to be fair, like you were alluding to earlier, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't even a goal that was scored early. It was most, almost like Ghana held their own for, for as long as they could. And then when the goal came, came there was so really fair, no way. Look say... at the Nigeria squad. Look at the Nigeria squad. <laughs> they had Joseph Yobo. They had Okoronko, Taribo West, Udeze, JJ Okocha, Karbalawa, Sande Olise, Nwanko Kukanu, Fini Di George, George, and Julius Agawa. <laughs> You want to go and play <laughs> this Nigeria team with the players we had. Okay. If you lose one year, you for thank God. Oh, yeah. You for thank God. But ultimately, but, Nigeria but, and Kosiche, they knock us out with... This is a good career. Like like Senegal, Senegal or Cameroon will come out. But, but, uh, but this, then, then win third. Then beat Mali for the, yes. you know, that period. Third and, fourth. and almost every game we played in that period was significant to the Black Stars we see today. In terms of, I, I yes, in, in terms of how we manage the team in terms of um, how we handle the team when they travel, in terms of even determining who travels with the team yeah. and all of that. Because things like a captain having to then determine that, you know what, I think I know what's best for the team. And so I'm going to use my money to go and buy. I no longer think that will happen today. Because you have a leader of delegation. When the team travels now, you have an ambassador who's going to receive the team. Yeah. And then you have someone from the finance ministry who, That's if the team needs anything... And in fact, whatever they are carrying may not be enough, can um, liaise with the government here yeah. and then the ambassador there better to find logistical arrangements. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Fint, one, one other thing is about the integration of the youth to of the course. Blasters, that process. Because if you watch the 2002 it squad, was a bold decision. It was even from New Zealand 99. Yeah, yeah. So New Zealand, Zealand 99. Argentina fact, 2001. NCL was part of this team, but yes. he, had, he, he got injured. So, so from under 17. Then they, they migrate some go under 20. That be for the Argentina 2001. Yeah. And then they push them, go the Mali, you know, uh, 2002. Uh, 2002. And the same, a lot of them, you know, qualified. We go, when was Athens? I think it was in 204. 204. And then from there, we come Germany yeah. 206. And, and some of them. So, Charlie, the yeah. process day, but now. So, okay. wait. And now, not the one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one final thing, friends. Uh -huh. The reason why back then, a lot of people could confidently say, let's push our local boys and let them go there for the black stars and they would play, was that you had players who would mature. And so that could make up for the technical deficits to a certain extent. However, in today's world, the players who are playing abroad are getting some crazy education that our players down here are not getting. Yeah, so right. even, for, even for those who are really excelling, there is a golf in class between them and their counterparts who play uh, elsewhere. Uh, and that's why it is important. Another reason we say back then, then the league was very was strong. stronger that's another and competitive. So, that, so that's what I was coming yeah. to. That's why you need to be deliberate about the players our league is producing. And it will start from the grassroots. It will start from who is teaching what to the kids. That determines the profile of players you are producing. Because look, in, now we cannot leave things to chance. Maybe... 10, 15, 20, years, 20 ago. years ago, we were blessed with a golden generation. Or we were blessed with golden generations for 20, 30 years. And so you can take a coach, but he'll walk into the Ghana Premier League and he'll not only dominate the Ghana League, but he'll go on to the CAF Champions League and he'll be a top scorer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Those days are long gone. Now you have to be deliberate about what you are doing and be committed and have a plan that actually works. Okay. So I hope that conversations like this and games like this stoke certain fires and cause some people to actually have a rethink of yeah. the decisions that they make. You know, to be fair, the, 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 the resurgence of Ghana football, because see, this period of Ghana football, the games we showed you from this period, 
This was one of the most mediocre periods of Ghana football, yeah. especially at the Blasters level. And so we can't, you see, standards are standard. This is my opinion. Standards are standard. We can't, see, let nobody deceive you and say that the, the existing or the status quo from back then was better, where local players could fuse easily with foreign base no. players. They were doing it and we were shame, Basa. Yeah. <laughs> when we began to perform well, it was the period we moved away from adding local players into the blast start and calling only foreign, for foreign born players. If you go to the 2006 World Cup, there were only two local players in there that actually performed well. Shida Eliasu, Habib Mohamed, right. Finito. Finish. The rest of them all, foreign base players. Without when we go catch the, the World Cup uh, uh, quarterfinal, there was no single local player who featured in any of the matches. Yeah. So the point is, and Nachi is right, we have to get to a point where we are able to be very conscious about the quality of players that we are producing. But let's not sit here and always reminisce over the Damn. times when local players could, we could use hats of food. When we were using hats, we were very mediocre. That's not the level. The level is higher than the time they would use hats of folk, play as black stars and be drawing and we are proud Fent, of it. Look, Fent, we let, should it. When it comes to call up, Let's have a template. Make we have like ten things with the lookout. For, for me, the issue is not even about color. If you are to take, no, yeah, the issue is not even about color. On the it issue be, of production, it's important. Have you listened to Chastela talk about his uh, trial at Brescia? Look, the staff, our players will see when they go out there to work in properly functioning environments where there is there is a conscious that effort on education, because football is science now. You can't just go go onto the pitch and start running. Actually, see, we know if you compare one a standard to their standard, but get the basic things right. Get the basic things right here. If you get the basic things right, I think say it will help with. See, it not be it not be all the players then go have their education. You get it. But at least, even if for our standard here, you are giving us good pitches, you are giving us a, 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 a good a good a competitive league. Yeah. At least it be based because if the player go leave go abroad. It, be, it go start from Ghana. Yeah. So if the basis for here be very good, uh, you know, say, oh, Charlie, if it get good basis here, where you go the way then add the science. Uh, at the end of the day, it be we way we go what? We go benefit. You right. understand? Guys, so, I mean, that be the bottom line. Um, wait, the Black has gone through some phases. Uh, 2001, 2002 was not one of, like, that was not it. During that period, to, in fact, the most mediocre period of the Black Stars history was from 1998, 99, 2000, 96, 2001, yes. 2000, 2000, 2000. It's, it's, it stopped from 2004. That period, I was always, if I see Sika, they, it, it, <laughs> what do you say? We didn't even qualify for the 2004. Of after. course. Yeah, no, it was like the one rebel, and Trike was captain. <laughs> so, so, so we, <laughs> like, you see, that's me, I mean, that mediocrity, I, mean, I don't yeah. like it too. <laughs> but Charlie, think we, so, uh, that was like one of the most mediocre periods in the Black Stars Charlie, history. Between the two, eight, in interviews always be bumped. Oh, <laughs> stop. Remember that. Well, oh, as captain, they don't go. I read the, messages, please. <laughs> I know we'll get that. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Oh, uh, This one says, please, I would like to rectify this. Uh, Fentil made a mistake. I want to clarify. In Kantuta and Ghana do not play Nigeria. But I know that. I don't know if I said that. They said Ghana, uh, Nigeria. The yes, we're talking about 2002. So if I mention that, then yeah. forgive me. Um, uh, that's George um, uh, sending that message from Kumase. Uh, Oboezi from Kaswa says, Ejiana Stars will win the league title. Okay, this one says, uh, Abeg, make a remind you, say, the current team way in Mia Kotoko be a crowd house of folk. This afternoon, too, we go Mia Wafa straight. <laughs> Regards to Felix Statue and you, Fen. Ezekiel in Takwa. Adam Shaibu live uh, watching us from Obuasi Bryant Mission Hospital. He says, Nigeria will beat Ghana not less than two goals in Ghana and not hey. less than three goals in oh. Nigeria Master. in the we return bet. encounter. <laughs> so the phobias made my day for beating Kotoko in the President's Cup. All right. This one says, Charlie, today the Blasters team is different from the past. All right. This one says, the Blasters don't have the right squad and mentality for carrying football. Protocol inclusion to the sportings will not get the ability to beat this Nigeria squad from any 900. This message is from uh, Capito. Uh, El Capito, watching live from Community One Side 17. He says, Charlie, they like your show. Uh, bad. As Yanum started drop points there, when it is coming, it is doing. <laughs> Congratulations to the CCM. 
phobia. All right. Mom, see, this one says, uh, Samo, enemies are not God, oh, because yesterday everybody was against Heart of Oak, including Slim and Tari. All the wonderful free kick that Slim played was not highlighted. Hmm. Clutchy Jacob. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Afoga, uh, Catholic Hospital. All right. Um, that be one I show for today. But next week, eh, we will take you to Afcon 2006, Ghana versus Nigeria, and then Afcon 2008. Mm. Eh? We we'll show you some small catches. La 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 la. Watch this match. Bra lai, bra lai. Ah, no look Oh, I go go, I go go. Rest in peace. I go go, I go go. Rest in peace. Eh, la 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 catch. Hey, they like us. And this was, a, this was 10 against That's our approach. 10 against, Thank yeah. you very much, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Until then, take care and bye-bye.